laundry and dancing. <laughs> Kyle Gucci, Aaron, Axel, Aaron Vega, Aragon, I'm sorry, Axel Aragon Vega, post-fight review. Man, this was an interesting fight until Vega suffered a hand injury. What's up, sports fans? It's your man, D-Back, speak your mind, sports talk. All right, check it out, man. Uh, Hiroto Kyle Gucci and... Axel Aragon Vega, very interesting fight. I expected, and I think a lot of people expected Hiroto Kayaguchi to, you know, pretty much have a one sided show in this fight. Uh, pretty much a showcase fight, but Axel Aragon Vega came to fight. And I mean, he was making this, he was making a battle of it. And to tell you the truth, I think the fight was extremely close. And it would have been interesting to see how the judges had the fight scored. However, uh, Aragon Vega suffered a hand injury. It looked like he probably broke his hand. I didn't get any updates, but it looked like he may have broken his hand. He was catching Kyle Gucci with this left hand all night, all night long. <clears throat> um, and then he would catch him with the overhand right repeatedly. So Kyle Gucci does need to step up his defense. You know, he lacks defensive awareness, and he was getting caught with this overhand right. He was getting caught with the left hand, but more so this overhand right that Aragon Vega kept throwing. Kyle Gucci was subject to that, but eventually Aragon threw that same punch probably – didn't get his hand turned the right way uh, and injured himself, which, you know, eventually caused this fight. But, you know, s still a great performance. Don't get me wrong. A great performance by both of these young warriors. And Kyle Gucci is still a very promising young fighter. Um, don't get me wrong. But uh, he showed some defensive flaws in here. Ar Aragon Vega exposed him. Uh, you know, with some defensive irresponsibilities. But he did break his hand, and, you know, I would like to have seen this fight go to the end. I don't believe either of these guys would have stopped the other. Um, you know, just a, a tremendous night of boxing. But shout-out to Kyle Gucci for picking up this victory. He fought extremely well, guys, and I'm not saying anything to make anyone believe that Kyle Gucci would have dropped or lost this fight had Aragon Vega not injured his head. I just thought that it would be interesting to see how the judges had it. I had Kyle Gucci winning the fight, uh, although the hand injury came about. But even still, you know, uh, I'm one person, and I love to see how the judges have it sometimes. Of course, when we can get fair judging, you guys know we have these crazy situations in boxing, such as uh, the main event, the main fight yesterday. We'll talk about that. But congratulations to Kyle Gucci picking up a win over Axel Aragon Vega. Uh, I do believe that he outboxed him. He controlled range. He was uh, pushing the pace of the fight. He was keeping Aragon Vega moving and um, landing the cleaner punches was uh, Hiroto Hayaguchi. So, you know, great performance by Hayaguchi. Great night of boxing. And y'all know how I always in this thing. For the love of sports, let's talk about it. Peace. <laughs>